thought experiment time. Say you had to like hypothetically move all the way across the country and you had to like get rid of all of your tools, except for one. Well, as fate would have it because I made the question up, I happen to have done that very thing fairly recently. So let me show you what I kept. This is my son. It was a difficult birth. He's named after his father. And technically this printer does belong to my wife, but I bought it for her and we're married, so. So here's the challenge. I only have about a two foot square footprint in the corner of this microscopic apartment to put all of my 3D printing stuff, our 3D printing stuff. And I think I'm pretty clever. I'm sure I haven't been the first person to do something like this, but I have a system in place for when I cannot spread out sideways, what I use to instead go vertical. Let me show you. All right, so here we have the corner and the printer and the base. I know what you're thinking. That's not a commercially available base. You're right. In the past, I have used end tables and nightstands and things like that. They actually work fine, just as good as this. If not better, this thing's a little inconvenient, but I think it's way too cool not to use. So I'm gonna use it. Can you believe someone was just throwing it away? Left it on the side of the road, like it was trash. Absurd. Mmm, smells like bleach. Because I put a lot of bleach on it. You know what they say on Arrested Development? Look, I got blue paint all over me. First coat done. I'm just gonna leave this here. This is a shared garage, but unless my neighbors have developed a sudden affinity for pegboards covered in wet house paint, I think we're all right. All right, so now we just gonna let this dry and come back in with another coat. We'll be good to go for the next step. And our pegboard is beautiful and painted. I might have gotten a little bit overzealous with the paint. So just like prom night, got a little cleanup to do back here. And when you're mounting pegboards, you need spacers on the back. So I'm gonna go to the store and buy some with my money. I'm just kidding, I own a 3D printer. This whole thing is four feet long, so Extremely easy to find dead center. It's like riding the edge here, and this one little tooth is doing all of the scoring, and it's uh, not intentional, but working really well. Almost. Oh dang, got pretty close. I just didn't score enough. I'm a professional. Oh, fudge off. Oh, great. Can you help me please? Impressed my own wife. <laughs> okay, pegboards are up. Took a long time. It was not the most fun I've had all day, but they're up. So security deposit has been forfeited and we're ready to start putting all sorts of 3D printed accoutrement onto them to get our workspace organized. So cue the montage.
it's done. Let me give you the tour. Over here, we've got the tools and things that are used frequently. So we've got the, the bed scraper, we've got some pliers, we've got some linoleum shears that can cut through anything. All things that I use all the time. Over here, we've got kind of the small tools, the glue sticks, the tweezers. And then next to it, we have the slightly larger box that contains all the bigger tools. Moving on up, we've got a tape holder. Then we've got the calipers and these battery holders that we'll see. Time will tell if they're any good or not. I just think they look kind of cool. So I put them up there for now. Moving on to the star of the show, spools. These filament holders are awesome. I've been using this file for years, but I printed out 10 of them. So now I have 10 spools mounted to the walls. This horizontal filament holder thing is the extra ones I printed. This is what they are, just a little hook things that hang off of your pegboard. You can put a piece of tube in there. I just have like a piece of conduit pipe going betwixt them. All the big filaments that weigh a lot flat against the wall so they're not like putting a ton of weight on it. Once they get kind of empty, I move them down to this thing and use them up. That's the plan. And then of course, some light so we can print by night. The window. Got some tools and some filament that I don't use very often, some ABS stuff like that. As you can see, I collect all of my failed prints and scraps and rafts and all that plastic stuff that I ultimately would just throw away or recycle. Instead, I keep it. And if you wanna know why I keep it, I answer that question in this video right there. And you can go watch it right now. Thanks for watching this one and I'll see you over there. Goodbye.